in tax optimal capital structure let's see whether there is any limit of using debt in order to obtain any tax shield uh, we know that a firm can receive full tax benefit of leverage without using 100% debt financing in its operations and for that purpose a firm must have a taxable earnings to uh, to obtain tax savings this means there is a limit of uh, using debt in order to have tax shield of debt and that limitation is the taxable earnings or the profitable earnings which means that earnings before interest and tax of a particular firm should be positive in order to go for the tax saving a firm with interest payment beyond tax uh, beyond earning before interest and tax pays no taxes because there is no taxable profit so no immediate tax shield can be there from the uh, excessive leverage the optimal leverage optimal level of leverage from tax saving perspective is the point where the interest payments of a firm are equal to its earnings before interest and taxes let's see tax savings with different amounts of leverage assume that a firm with earning before interest and tax of $1000 and a corporate tax rate of 35% we have three scenarios where in one scenario we have no leverage in the other we have high level of leverage and in the third we have excessive leverage we have a bit of $1000 for all the three scenarios we have no in debt in the case of no leverage and 1000 interest expense which is equal to the habit of $1000 this is the case of higher leverage and we have $1100 as interest expense which is greater than the amount of habit and this is the case of excessive leverage if we see the net income we have net income of $650 in first case zero income in higher leverage case and negative $100 income or the loss of $100 in the excessive leverage case so when we see the tax savings from the leverage there is no tax saving in the case of no leverage and full tax saving of $350 in case of higher leverage and we have no tax saving on the excessive leverage where we have extra interest of $100 because we have no extra profit against this $100 so we see that there is uh, in the case of no leverage the firm is owing a tax of $350 on the full amount of habit and at higher level of leverage with interest payment equal to $1000 full earning of 350 can be shielded from taxes and with excessive leverage the interest payments are going beyond habit so the firm has a net operating loss of $100 this means there is no tax to pay in this case no increase in tax savings on excessive interest payments are there in other graph we see that the firm for habit with certainty an interest payment of same amount can maximize the tax savings as we are seeing in the case of thousand dollars of habit where interest expense is equal to this amount and where the firm cannot predict the interest the habits very precisely then habit with uncertainty has greater vulnerability of exceeding a higher interest expense over the habit so that we are seeing here as a consequence is that the tax savings for higher interest falls possibly reducing the optimal level of interest payments is there any low le leverage puzzle let's see what does it mean a study of s and p's 500 firms from 1975 to 2015 shows interest expense of leveraged firm well below its taxable incomes this means that these firms were mainly under leveraged why this thing happened or why these firms could not exploit fully the option of debt financing when talk to the managers many of them have uh, had consensus on few things like they said that debt financing has other costs preventing firms from using interest tax shield fully and why 
this was the cause uh, because the higher debt level increases the probability of bankruptcy and debt payments must be paid to avoid bankruptcy that is that means that the payment of interest and debt is a legal obligation of the firm but to pay dividend is not a legal restriction or binding on the uh, firm for its equity holders uh, so the costly bankruptcy may offset the tax advantages of the ban uh, in debt so we see uh, in uh, while solving this low leverage puzzle that the probability of the riskiness of bankruptcy is the main cause that prevent a firm in uh, using the debt at a full level because the cost of bankruptcy may go beyond the benefit of the tax debt advantage.